At the International Food Machinery and Technology Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan, there were quite a few really interesting food technologies uh, on display. You can see this gyoza maker, which was made by Toa Industries. Uh, this is actually, they claim this is the world's smallest gyoza maker. Now, for those of you who don't know what a gyoza is, it's basically a Chinese dumpling, and the filling is in this container on top, which is pushed into the pastry and then folded. This process is notoriously difficult to do by hand, so having a machine that can do it is very, very clever. Another company, Sanmei, had robotic arms, and no Japanese conference is complete without robotic arms. And you can see that they were basically just moving items on a conveyor belt from one, from one belt to another. Very clever. Not astounding, but pretty clever. Now, one company that actually took this up a notch, and you'll see here in a second, this is Nico. They did it a little bit differently. This robotic arm could actually detect uh, where on the conveyor belt an item was. This robotic arm is a little bit more complex. It could detect items by shape, color, and it could also detect rejects. And if you see this blue cube coming up, it puts it in the little reject pot. Very, very clever. Now, obviously, a robotic arm like this, and you can see the speed at which it's going, is far more efficient than any number of human assembly line workers. It's very quick. And there was lots of smart thinking like this on display at FUMA that make, made it very clear that food processing is a lot more complex than, than some of us may have thought.